TV. And this kickoff will bounce through the end zone. With the Bears. And he will be a big part of this offense this year. And he takes that first handoff right up the middle. Baker in the shotgun here, second and five from his own 40 for Alberta. Il Nicky in behind him. Il Nicky protecting Baker in trouble, and he will be sacked for a loss. Five. A little while to get it off, but a good punt. And this one will force the returner back to his own 20. And walk back up the field as he works first and 10 from his own 32. Near side of the field, that's Klukas again. And he is wrapped up by a couple of Golden Bears. The same position the Golden Bears were in in their first possession. This pass completed. And he lets it fly from his own 30-yard line. This punch rolls down. Bubaleni will grab it there for Alberta. He's wrapped up immediately. Behind him, three targets to his right. He'll hand it off to Omniki, who cuts it back and then lunges ahead. Second and seven. So they gave Phil Nicky three on that first down carry. Here's Baker now looking down the right side of the field. And that one misses everybody. I've that two players specifically tack Landry and Levon Horlock. Landry and Levon Horlock, and Mercer Timmis and Hamilton. The two players specifically tack Landry. What looked like a big gain for Sanagra turns into a punt for the Dinos. That ball bounces. It's going to get a favorable Dino bounce. Andre Webster in the game behind him. Now Baker, near side of the field, that is complete. May have returned the odd kick last year for Alberta, but new to the role this year, and that one dropped. Times have cost the Bears over the last couple of years. Woodman with the punt, and that'll bounce at the 50, and scooped up there. No yards, flag on the play. First and 10 from midfield. This is handed off right up the gut, a little bit of room, and that'll be a First down, kick and 10 from the 36. Sinegra looking on the near side of the field, has a man, that is complete. Sinegra hands it off again. Cut back, and the Golden Bears defense is able to close quickly this time. Eight from the Alberta 24, some pressure coming from the Golden Bears. That pass away quickly, far side of the field, and that'll be a first down, I believe, into Sinegra in the shotgun. Antwi on the field, Stewart as well, and he'll find Antwi, just run Antwi, almost to the end zone, jumps in, took a bump, but he'll get the touchdown. Their advantage on the scoring play by Antwi. Andre Webster will take this kickoff at the five, now up to the 10, Webster cuts it back, and he's able to bust through up to the 25, first and 10 here from their own 28, and this one will be handed off to Webster. So a little bit of timing issue there between Baker and Webster. Second and eight, Baker now will roll to his left. Pressure coming, Baker's gonna look down the field. And this one nowhere to go, but a flag on the play. A bit late, but I'm wondering if they called it, if it was a headshot was what drew the flag. Huge penalty though, it marches the Golden Bears down to the Calgary 50. We'll see what they can do with it. Here's Baker to Webster. Webster in trouble, trying to cut back, has to dive to get back to the line of scrimmage, and he's the timing a little bit off right now. Second and 11 for Baker, over the middle, Tyler Henry. Ilnicki, back out onto the field. Baker, keeper, plunges ahead, and no problem, he will pick up that first down, so the goal first and 10 from his own 40. Empty backfield, looks to the right, now goes to the corner, Tyler Henry waiting for it, got it! Inbounds, complete to Alberta. First and 10 now from the eight, and that ball high. He was looking for John Germa, and there's a flag as Germa was held down from the one. First and goal, 250 remaining here in the opening quarter. Calgary leads 8 0. Baker, will he keep it? No, he'll give it to Ed Ilnicki, who pushes it across the line. Touchdown, Alberta. Ed Ilnicki in for the first touchdown of the year the kickoff will come down at the five yard line for the dinos 
And the Golden Bears. Reggie Shep, the an empty backfield here for Sinegra. Near side of the field, and that pass is complete. Golden Bears close quickly. Four yard catch for both. Antwi right up the gut. He's going to have the first down and a little bit more eventually brought down from behind. Three receivers on the near side of the field. And then we'll hand this off to Antwi again. Trying to run off tackle, but he is wrapped up right away. It'll be a pickup of about four yards. Eight points by the Dinos in the last four games. So you have to think the message in the Bears' room this week was the D has to play a big factor here today. So already has had about three fairly vocal conversations with the officials. Great coverage downfield from the Dinos. Daniel Webster in behind him. Fakes the handoff, rolls to his white pressure there, avoids it. Now looks downfield, has a man, and it's overthrown. And momentum on the side of the Golden Bears. Seen Andre Webster in the backfield a lot more than Eddie Nicky. Here's Baker now looking for Henry, and that ball overthrown Henry into double coverage there. That was a situation. Woodman to kick this away, lets it fly from his own 20, a towering punt that comes down at the 43. And that one brought back up the far side of the field by Lorenz. Sinegra just one incompletion in the opening quarter of this game. He's got Robert Stewart in behind him. He'll hand it off. And Stewart with a quick cut. And he'll pick up about four yards. Receivers for Sinegra. Three-man rush from Alberta. Sinegra, a ton of time. Has a man, and that is complete for the first down. Down the field before putting it into the hands of Dallas both. As you mentioned, Dustin, three-man pressure from the Golden Bears. Contained very well by that Calgary line. Sanagra has lots of time and just waits for both to open up. Still a very good throw. Very good throw. In behind Sanagra, he'll take the handoff. And this time he's able to plow ahead for a first down pickup of close to eight yards. Stewart again. Golden Bears close quickly this time. And they're going to stop him. A great job defensively by Alberta. It'll be a... 33-yard field goal for DeFonte, his first of the season, and this one is hammered up. And through the uprights, Calgary leading 11-7 with 12-17 to go. But Walter Henry has been targeted a few times in this game, has one big catch, is out here to the right. Now this is handed off to Ilnicki, and Ilnicki will pick up maybe two yards. Work from the shotgun, second and nine from his own 36. Baker, Henry, and that's complete, but will come up short of the first down, Short. needing a yard. The big boys are in on that line for Alberta. They're gonna go for third and one from their own 44. Bobbled, Ilnicki gets it and he is going to be stopped. Sinegra, a lot of time. He's gonna look deep down the field and this ball will be, oh. I thought it was going to be overthrown, but both players closed on it very quickly. And Shaden Phillip, and we'll get a look at it on the replay. I believe he got his right hand on it. Second and 15 now. So second and long here for the Dinos. Over the middle, and that is complete for the far side of the field. And we open, and he drops it. Golden Bears defense. Here's Sinegra. Pressured. Gets away from him. A ton of room. And Sinegra, one man to beat, cuts around him and forced out of bounds. Guess run Antwi in behind him, already has a touchdown in this game. This time will be handed off, we'll try the end around, looking for the corner of the end zone, and they got it. Touchdown Calgary, as they now go up by 10. Zone five, Webster now, trying to cut it back up the middle of the field, and he is going to be wrapped up. Calgary. Bringing some pressure, Webster will keep it. And he's second and six here for the Golden Bears offense. Webster to the right of Baker in the shotgun. Now looking, finding Tyler Henry and he is hammered by Adam Lorenz. Flag flies on the play. That ball had just got into Henry's hands. Fresh set of downs for Alberta. First and 10 from their 37. Flags fly on the play there as Andre Webster takes the handoff penalty against Calgary so first and five here for Alberta they'll pick up the first down now first and ten from the 51 Baker has a man wide open and that is complete to Nathan Rowe his second catch 
over the middle, has a man. And that one batted away defensively. A nice play by Stax. Hand on it. Woodman's kick almost blocked. A towering punt that will go out of bounds. In behind Sinegra. Sinegra over the middle. And that ball is caught by Tara Plamundin. Put the Dinos in a good spot, getting out of a little bit of trouble in their own zone. Antwi now takes the handoff, cut back. Got back to the line of scrimmage, and Negro will work with four receivers to his left. Sinegra now focused on the left side of the field, and that pass is complete. Wow, what a catch there. It's a really nice play by Carl. You'll see him break to the post, then back out, and he comes back to the ball. We've talked about it a couple times already. How important that is. Shaden Phillip, a split second late, getting a hand there. Sinegra hands this off to Antwi. He's got nowhere to go. Still picks up about two yards. Sinegra, second and eight from the Alberta 53. He's got a little bit of time. Now over the middle has a man. That's complete. And that'll be another first down for the Dinos. First and ten from the Alberta 40 for Sinegra and the Dinos offense. This time he'll keep it. And he has a man wide open down the field. That'll be complete. And that'll be a touchdown. Dallas both on a tremendous play call from the Dinos down at the other end. Just a great play fake. And you can see the defensive backs. There's number 19 for Alberta, who just gets caught looking in the backfield. That's Trayvon Walsh. And as soon as you do that, then you're chasing. And the Dinos do a great job of leaking both out. We'll take this on a one hopper. Actually, it bounces between his legs. Now he'll pick it up, and he'll try to get to the outside. And he'll be wrapped up. He in behind him. First and 10 from their own 15. Baker will be throwing. And he looks to Henry on the far side of the field. Tyler Henry caught it and hung on. Tyler Henry. Here's Baker throwing again. He's pressured, in trouble. Throws it up. Oh, almost caught. A from the Alberta 30. It'll be an empty backfield for the Bears quarterback. Looking to his left. A little bit of time here. Now he's in trouble. Gets away from it. Rolling to his left now. Looking back. Has a man. That'll be complete. But a good job defensively there. Webster was the tackle on row. We've got a flag on this punt. And that ball will be scooped up. Now another flag flies. Sinegra putting together a pretty good football game for the Dino so far. Empty backfield here. Looks to the near side. And that is caught by both again head in time and by the time he turns his head both has found the ball there he turns it just a little late and both catch Sinegra both again and both plows ahead that'll be a another first down at all from this Golden Bears front seven and there some pressure from the defense and he had one in the first quarter I think he's got three already in this quarter. And that play broken up by Reggie Shep. Good job closing on that one. Play clock ticks down in the distance as DeFonte puts this up and puts it through. He in behind him. And he'll be throwing here. He's going to try to take a shot down the field to Tyler Henry. Tyler Henry has been his go-to man so far here in the first half on the left side of the field. Now Baker rolling to his right a little bit of time. He's going to keep it. And he's going to run out of room. And Woodman. A high punt. He's going to come down at the 35. Lorenz will grab it there. Trying to get to the outside. He's got one block. He's got a lot of room. Lorenz brings it back to the 52 before he's eventually wrapped up. More here with 30 seconds left in the first half. His team up by three touchdowns. Sinegra with a little bit of pressure. Gets that ball away. And it will be close to a first down. I Antwi in behind him. And Tanegra, another quick hitter, this time to both. Why not? He's been terrific so far. He couldn't get out of bounds. He was Tanegra with four receivers to his left. He's going to swing it out to Antwi. Gets a couple of blocks, cuts it up the middle. And as the horn sounds, DeFonte from 35. And that one straight down the middle. Calgary's got a kicker on their hands here tonight. He's yep. been absolutely locked in. 31 Seven. The Dinos will lead as you see them head off to the dressing room. The Dinos will lead as you see them head off to the dressing room. On the side of the Golden Bears. 
beautiful except for the score if you're an Alberta fan. 31 to seven, Calgary leads as we get set to kick off the second half and a good tackle down. But it seems to have calmed down a little bit here tonight, which is, which is good for everybody. Although we certainly thinking about all the fires that are in BC. And I understand now in Saskatchewan too, there are fires that are causing some of the issues here. Yeah, very, Stewart had five for 33, but 19 of those came on. There's some pressure. And is that complete to Klukas? Like in that first half though, a little bit of pressure there on Sinegra, forcing him to move that ball. Now Sinegra off one foot and that is complete. Less than 90 seconds, they now find themselves at midfield. Antwi with a hole and he's able to get up inside the Alberta 50. In the first half was done by quarterback Sinegra, 17 of 21 in the first half for over 250 yards, a couple of touchdowns. Here he goes again and that one thrown behind the defender and they're gonna throw a flag here for pass interference and I have a shotgun from the Alberta 38. Sinegra trying to strike early here in the second half. This is complete to the near side of the field. A big frontier ahead of their quarterback and the QB stumbles and falls. There is a flag on the play. Sinegra, first and 10 from the Alberta 25. Another flag flies. This one wide open, touchdown. My mistake, I thought one of the receivers had jumped early. And there's Hunter Carl, wide open. And this one a big kick. And that one flies directly out of bounds. I think you're looking to establish that game plan that we've talked about. Good mix of run and pass. See if you can continue to find some chemistry between Baker and his receivers. Level you're at, you, it's not a matter of putting up points in every possession, but you need to move the chains and the Bears just simply have not done that here as the game has worn on. This half, so they have scored on five or six consecutive drives. Now here's 10, so Stewart back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more, now he'll move up to the right side of the line, empty backfield, Sinegra. And he looks to the far side of the field. And that one is broken up by Punt away, end over end comes down to Bubalani at his own 40. And he literally has nowhere to go. Here now with Ilnicki in behind him. He'll hand it off to Ilnicki. And this time Ilnicki's got a huge hole. Ilnicki midfield to the 50 now. And Ilnicki's gonna go 20, 15, 10. He'll take it to the house. And, and this kick will be hammered away and it'll come down at the five for Klukas who cuts it back up the middle and here's an opportunity for Klukas he'll get to the 30 there is a flag and Doug says this is coming back on a hold third quarter and this one complete that is both and Robert Stewart in behind him so Negro will be throwing and comes over the middle, that's caught by both who had to turn around and reach back to get it. And Antwi back in there right now, first and 20 for Calgary as this one came back on a penalty. And once again, complete over the middle, closing quickly there defensively. That pass either has to come out early or he's got to look elsewhere. A completion of 14 on first down, second and six. This one, just a quick hitter underneath. All they needed was six. They well, the Bears have to step up, force him underneath the marker. Sinegra once again, right back into the hands of Sindani. Uh, Simon Eyes, who did not play last year, isn't with the Dinos program anymore. He, I mean, they lose a guy like that and they have not lost a beat. Sinegra now throws this one and that hits the turf on the far side. Oh, here's Sinegra, empty backfield, a ton of time. He's gonna look to the end zone, has a man! And that is caught for the touchdown. Watch again, Doug. He got in behind the defense, had to wait for the ball to get there. Almost thrown open by Singera. How does this one look compared to them, do you think? Well, that's a great question because I think what it does is it speaks more to how the Dinos develop players. Here's Baker with Il Nicky. Il Nicky will swing out here. Baker's going to go to the other side, and that pass too high. So there's your task ahead of you. Three of their first four weeks are against right. those teams. And now here's a pass on the far side, almost to the first down marker. Woodman to kick this away from his own 25. And that one is blocked and it will bounce to the 42 before it is hopped on by the Dinos. Slowly from Woodman and 
is the receiver, Abdel Rahim, from the 37 here for the Dinos. Although if Evan did design that, then I'm even more impressed with Evan than I normally would be. Another shot to the end zone. Joan Clark on the far side of the field. Six receivers here. A little bit of pressure, but no problem there and sliding ahead. Abdel Rahim, you mentioned his name a couple minutes ago, another one. And this kick is up and it is wide and brought out of the end zone by Alberta. Actually, it's Alberta ball here. Baker has it. And he will hand it off to Andre Webster. And Webster will take it out on the far side of the field. First and 15 now for Baker. He's got Webster to his right. He's in his end zone now. He's going to try to take a shot down the far side of the field. And that ball is caught. What a catch at the 40. And it's going to be brought all the way up inside Calgary territory. He's looked for the most. Now Baker looking over the middle. Tyler Henry. That's complete. Almost a Baker looking comfortable on this drive. Now they'll hand it off and literally nowhere to go. Baker second and 10 from the Calgary 38 needs to make a play here. He's got Webster to his left and he's gonna look down the field and that ball high in the air deflected by the defender. Webster in behind him, Tyler Henry is out here to the right. Baker, he's gonna look to the end zone. Tyler Henry's there and that ball just under thrown. Henry went down for it. It's 14 Dustin Nielsen alongside Doug McLean with you here on Canada West dot TV. Baker throwing again, looking to the end zone again. This one into double coverage. Brent Arthur, his first field goal attempt of the season. This one is up and it is hammered home from the 30 with the Bears. Now this ball is handed off and jumping ahead there. So an opportunity here for the Golden Bears defense to get a stop at the end of the third quarter. Sinegra looking deep. Here comes some pressure and Sinegra is going to be taken down by number 58, Garrett Meek. Fine. And momentum on the side of the Golden Bears. So first and 10 for Baker. Ilnicki in behind him. Ilnicki with both touchdowns tonight for the Golden Bears. Baker rolls to his right. Now guns one down the right side of the field. He was looking for Nathan Rowe, heading into week two. Let's see if they can take advantage of it. Here's Baker over the middle. That was a gun into Tyler Henry for a first down. First and 10 now on the Calgary 30. Baker looks to the right, has a man, and that is complete. Not a easy task for Baker. First game in over a year has to do it against the Calgary Dinos. This one completed as well, and that's going to be taken inside the 15. Settling in a little bit here in the second half. It's not easy, but as we've talked about the challenges, that there aren't any easy games in Canada West. He was looking to the end zone there for passage again. Uh, World most, Traveler. Yeah, most recently from Taiwan this morning. Here's an opportunity. Oh, third and 10. Bears go for it. Why not? Here's Baker. Ilnicki in protection. Baker's going to look to the end zone, has a man, and that is overthrown as well. He's got a strong I arm. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Issue. Yeah. Strong arm. Dinos take the ball back here, and, we'll, and it'll be second and seven now from the uh, Calgary 15. Thrown down here for Sinegra, looks over the middle. That one's thrown high. You have to have those. Calgary now will take a knee in the end zone. Ben Kopzinski in at quarterback here for Alberta. Here's Kopzinski, hands it off. Andre Webster trying to get outside. Webster's gonna get outside. There's the flag. Now Webster's gonna get taken down and pushed out of bounds. Didn't down. need to do it. So first to 20 for Kopzinski, he'll be throwing. He rolls to his left. Now Kopzinski throws it up high in the second and 20 now for Kopzinski. He'll be throwing again. Rolls to his right, there's one underneath. A flag flies as that ball into the hands of Nathan Rowe, but uh, Kopzinski here now third and short. And they'll hand it off and Ed Ilnicki, ooh, I don't think Ed Ilnicki made it.
And they are. One link, one link short. And so, so the flag is still sitting there. Yeah, so it was against Alberta. It's declined now. And now, and Josiah Joseph now into the game, replacing Adam Singera. Second and short, and Joseph dives ahead. It was second and three, actually. Calgary up on Alberta, 45-19. And Calgary, too, will hand off on third and short. And this, uh, Josiah Joseph in this game now for Sinegra, who's had a terrific night. The rest of it likely off here. Here's Joseph. He's going to look to the end zone. What a well-thrown ball. Oh, and that's in and out of the hands of... Oh, and that's in and out of the hands of the intended target. Second and 10 now from the Alberta 34 for Joseph. Has a man wide open and missed him on the far side. This one will be a 41 yarder with seven and a half minutes remaining in the football game. And this one is up and that one is good. He did out here supporting the team against the Donos. Kobzinski's gonna go deep. And that one missed the intended target. Second and 10 now from the 35 here for Alberta. Four targets to the left for Kobzinski. He's got a little bit of time. Now he's gonna scramble out of it. Two flags, one down the field, one behind. And Kobzinski puts his head down and chugs ahead for a first down. And Kobzinski with one of his receivers jumping. Kobzinski's gonna go over the middle and that's picked off. Boston row fourth year linebacker for the Dinos from Calgary played at St. Francis and Nathan Rowe first year from Calgary played at St. Francis so I'm gonna very nice job Joseph still in the game here and he's able to get this one off to Antwi and the home opener under the lights here the next three games one o'clock on Saturday and this Joseph in trouble this time, gets out of it. Now lunges ahead. Joseph. He'll drop this one off to Stewart. Stewart juking his way up ahead. Definitely has a frame that will continue to be built around. And this time, will he keep it? He does keep it. And he lunges ahead for a pickup of about three yards. Ottawa at nine, and then Manitoba at 10. Joseph looks to the end zone. And he's got a man, the backup quarterback has come in and thrown for a touchdown. A nice touch there by Joseph. Do those two general managers have to have to come up with a oh, I can't 16 even. player trade. And the interesting thing about that trade too, as Webster is going backwards here, and that's gonna be a safety. Webster just ran back into his own end zone. And oh, that should be a safety. They're gonna rule he's at the able to get upfield. 55-19 for the Dinos. Here's Kopzinski. He's going to throw one up here. They'll take a shot deep, and that is complete. Down the left sideline. Still going. A beautiful move there by Rowe. Nathan Rowe's going to go all the way for a touchdown. 110 yards. Kopzinski strikes big. What a way to make your Golden Bears debut. So Nathan Rowe's going to put up a couple hundred yards in his... Golden Bears debut. Beautiful there. move on the defender right there. That was Dean Leonard, who kind of fell for the hesitation. It looked as though Rowe was going to sell him that he was going to try to cut inside on him. And nice to have the mix of those two. The Bears. Toss a short high kick. And that's going to be picked up and brought back up the field by the Dinos and finally tackled inside the 45. We're back in the fourth quarter in place of Adam Sinegra who was terrific tonight for the Dinos. He'll hand this one off and that'll be right up the middle. Who comes into this game tonight is the backup, Brad Baker. Four receivers to the right here for Joseph. That's where he's gonna look, has a man in the flat wide open and that'll be caught and brought ahead. Third and one, Joseph under center. He'll keep this, and with a second effort. A mix of Canada West, OUA, and Quebec. 
Now here's Joseph Pressure. He's got a little bit of room to run. That's exactly what he's going to do. And the Bears close quickly on him. Reggie. But he's trying to play. He's That's in the true. game. He's getting That's an true. opportunity here. Here Joseph again has a man. That's complete on the near side of the field. String guys in here on the Darrow's offense right now. But Joseph making the most of it. That offense hasn't really let up at all. Ball far side of the field. That's complete. Although some other guys have stepped up nicely here in the fourth quarter, but it's been a blowout at this point, so not sure how much stock you can put into that. Now they'll hand it off, and this is Stewart. Former CFL great. So yeah, I think you have to put it away and and just find ways to be a little steadier, a little more consistent. Kicks down to 30 seconds, here's Joseph. Had a hard time corralling that, still able to hand it off to Stewart who is wrapped up. Looked like he might have some room on the far side, but I think if you look at tonight, all things aside in terms of Baker's situation, he, he and, and again, not that you have to be perfect. Calgary comes away as expected with the victory, 55-26, 26. 26.